Hi everyone, I'm back with another sketching video, and for today's video, I have sketched a very cute pug, as you can see here. Look at his beautiful, cute face. For this, uh, for this drawing, I have used a variety of different materials. Um, of course, my go-to was the regular pencil, the HB, and the 2HB, which is a little bit darker. Um, I have also used Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil. This is a believe warm gray. I have also used the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, which is a cold gray. I've used it to enhance some of the dark shadows. And last but not least, I used a tiny bit of Pen Pastel Artist Pastel to enhance some of the, um, the dark shadows and just to make it all blend very beautifully. I'm hoping to keep this video very quick. Throughout the video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to draw dog fur, um, basically layering techniques. So, I hope you enjoy. To start off, I have drawn the approximate shape of the pug's head. It's really up to you how you want to approach this. You can basically copy from a reference photo, you can sketch it yourself. If you're really talented, you can do it from scratch. Um, in my case, I have used a reference photo and basically built up uh, the pug's face and the detail of the fur on my own based on that reference photo. Um, this, of course, makes really good practice if you're an inspiring artist. Um, again, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to just directly copy from a reference photo um, to practice your shadowing and your layering technique and your um, fur, for, fur creation your fur drawing skills. What I usually like to do is I take one of the lighter pencils, the HB pencil, and I start to sketch in the fur. When sketching fur, it's a really good idea to just do very short strokes. Depending on the type of fur, some dogs may have longer fur, others may have short. In this case, the pug has pretty short hair. Um, the strokes of the of the actual pencil should be rather short um, and precise. Basically you just build up the layering with the different shades of grey. So I've been building up the layering with the pencils, the 2B pencil and the HB pencil as well as the dark warm grey um, polychromos pencil. To achieve the fullness of the dog's fur you basically need to layer. Um, layering is key and layering with different shades of grey is what pretty much brings the picture together. You can create some really cool textures. Um, for my layering, I've been using the pencil crayon and the pencil, as well as the marker. Oh. 
as usual, thank you guys for watching. I will be creating a lot more video tutorials for sketching, drawing, painting, anything watercolor related. So thanks again, and please don't forget to subscribe below.